I need to wear glasses because I'm long sighted, but I've got contacts in. I've got quite good vision, not quite perfect. I need to wear glasses. I wear reading glasses to read. According to a recent study, almost 2 million people in the UK are living with sight loss. From wearing glasses and contact lenses to more serious conditions, people's vision problems can have a big effect on their daily lives. I need glasses because I'm short-sighted um, and also contact lenses sometimes that I wear if I'm going out. I've needed eye wear since I was about 18. I wear glasses because I'm short-sighted. I first started wearing glasses when I was about 13. I don't need any eyewear. Mine's not to do with my eyes, it's to do with my chromosomes. Because we need extra chromosomes to form. Like our colour sheets behind something, it's hard to read, and shades. I like wearing the glasses because they help me see, and, I need, and obviously I need them to see because otherwise I wouldn't be able to drive and things like that. So to me, um, it's just part, part of everyday life. It doesn't really bother me about wearing glasses, uh, it's just a necessity. Um, I go and have to see the optician about every 18 months. I go to the opticians once every two years. I do go to the opticians about every six months. I'd recommend people visit their optician um, as often as the optician recommends. It's usually once every two years if the optician says more often than that, then definitely go more often than that. Um, if you need glasses, um, it's quite simple, really. Once the um, optician has prescribed what they're going to prescribe, um, you go down, you choose your frames, and then we do the rest for you, get the lenses cut out. And the people who wear glasses, they tend to be indoctrinated, they realise the importance of having an eye test, and they tend to have um, their prescription tends to change. So they're, they're normally quite good, they'll come in every two years. But there's two things that we do for an eye test. Test somebody's eyes. Do they need glasses? Can they see clearly? But also we look at the health of your eyes when we look inside your retina. Normally, if you, if you needed glasses and you never had them before, you might get symptoms. So one day you might say, oh, I'm struggling at school or I'm struggling on a computer. You're getting headaches, eye strain, and you can't explain why. We are uh, about to start what's known as a minor eye condition service in this, in this area where Anybody with an, an eye condition such as a red eye or, or something that's not um, absolutely obvious that it's an emergency, um, they will come to their optician as opposed to going to see their GP, um, which in my view is, is a good thing. The Fairfield Blind Centre in Warrington was established to provide support for blind and visually impaired people in the area, whilst allowing them to live an independent life. The Blind Centre is 92 years old. Um, it was formed by a, a guy called Rex Furness who was blinded in an accident. We support anybody who's not got 20-20 vision when they've been to the eye clinic. Glaucoma has totally impaired my vision. In fact, the, the, the eye I've got glaucoma in, I've no vision at all in it. I've suffered with this condition, glaucoma, for the last six or seven years. When you've got juvenile macular degeneration. You've got very, very short-sighted, so everything is, has got to be close to you. I do get some negative uh, reactions at times. They, even with a guide dog, they think you can see them. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me uh, having to use glasses. These glasses are bifocals. I do have single focus, but I use these most of the time. I was having difficulty focusing on stuff uh, I, and that's how I realised I was visually impaired. I wanted to be a rehabilitation specialist after the placement in a special school um, and quite a lot of our children were visually impaired and I found that was my niche. I think it's really important that a parent learns Braille um, because they need to support the child. The child can feel really isolated if they're the only person in the household that can read or type Braille. Braille's really time consuming to learn um, all the contractions, remembering each individual word and how it's contracted. It takes a lot of memory I mean, because you've got to do a little bit every day. A young person usually takes around six months to learn the alphabet and then another two to three years to learn all the contractions that they'll need. 
So in total, it's usually just over three years. 